In seasons past, the Emmaus football team pounded the Red Rovers by a combined score of 84 to 35. And in the opening minutes of last night's meeting between the two, the Green Hornets were looking to do the same. Didn't take long for Emmaus QB Jarrett Cooper to break free off the line of scrimmage and take off for a 74 yard rushing TD. Cooper rushed for 120 yards on Friday and two scores. His second coming after a lengthy drive ended in a one yard touchdown with just under six left to go in the frame a May is up 14 to 0. The Red Rovers were successfully contained until the following drive where they marched 70 yards down the field. Will Day had 23 carries in the game, quite a few coming off this possession. One he finishes with six from two yards out. Easton's comeback would continue. Will Day also continuing to run the rock. He racked up 156 rushing yards, but on the receiving end of this one. This the first of back to back touchdown passes from Cole Ordway as the Red Rovers claw their way back into this game. A 33 yard connection to Jasir Frucci and an extra two taking the lead 21 to 14 into the fourth. Or it's Riley Bechtel gets his squad down to the one and despite several penalties pushing them back, it's Sam Stefan catching the six yard score to tie the game yet again at 21 apiece. After Emmaus missed a 22 yard field goal to win the game, we were treated to some overtime. Easton's first try and it's Dorian Thomas with the carry and the score. The Hornets with a chance to respond, but the Red Rovers, William Day takes that chance away with an interception. Easton goes wild, as does their mascot, taking down Emmaus in overtime, 28 to 21, the final. Head coach Matt Seneca was treated by medical personnel before leaving the game in the first half. Thankfully, he will be okay. But despite that adversity, this Red Rovers team continued to stay red hot. Their strong start may be a surprise to some, but certainly not a surprise to Easton. Total, total buy-in. Even when Seneca's off, I really hope he's okay. I love that. I love that man to death. Thank God to my D-line. I can't do nothing without them and my linebackers. No, we're not surprised because for us, it started January 3rd at 5.30 in the morning. Our backs are against the wall. It shows tremendous heart. It shows to handle adversity. And that, that's the culture here. And, and uh, we did that for Coach Seneca. That was for Matt. We love you, Seneca. At EPSD Stadium, I'm Gwen Begley for SEN.